Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the imaging ceremony took place in St. Grigori the Illuminator Church in Caesarea, Western Armenia. Statement of the ARA Ombudsman, recognize Western Armenia as a tune. Azerbaijan and Turkey will not face anything but force, archaeologists. Strong winds cause damage in Akhal Kalak. The 13th Armenian Composer Art Festival has started. In the Church of St. Grigor Lusavoric, built by the Armenians in Caesarea, Western Armenia, whose name first became known in 1191, the rite of Mijing took place. The liturgy was attended by the chairman of the Board of Armenian Church of St. Grigor Lusavoric of Caesarea Zadik Tokel and leader of the Armenian Church Zavadis Tabasyan. In the ritual, prayers were heard by the candlelight. According to Zadik Tokel, the rite is a seven week Easter fast, which we call in the Mijing. It is repeated every year, usually a lot of people come from Krastatnapol every year, but because of the epidemic they have not been able to come for two years. The Armenian community is faithful to Great Land, which is included in a list of obligatory religious conditions and during which special ceremonies were held. The church refrains from certain tradition and preference is given to reading the Bible. Mijing took place in the middle of land, which lasted on average 40 days. The invasion of the Azerbaijan forces into the village of Paruch in the Askeran region of the Republic of Artsakh is a logical continuation of the criminal state policy of Azerbaijan. This was stated by the Ombudsman of Armenia, Kristina Grigorian. This behavior, which violates all universal recognized norms of international law, has been going on for weeks and months through acts of pressure and intimidation of the population of Artsakh. This invasion is another proof of the fact that a weeks long targeting of civilian population of Khramort and other villages did not give the desired result, people did not leave their cradle. The awkward silence of the international community about human rights violation in Artsakh has not yet been accompanied by real actions in not correcting the situation. I strongly condemn the criminal behavior of Azerbaijan and call on organization to act to stop this genocidal policy directed against the population of Artsakh. The statement reads, as a result of the attack, the Armenian side has three victims and 14 soldiers, two of whom are in extremely critical conditions. Conditions. The government of Western Armenia expresses its condolence to the families of the victims. Zeytun Ulnia, a town in the mountainous Cilicia of Western Armenia, in a mountainous area, in the vicinity there are minerals, iron, silver, mineral waters. It is believed that the name Zeytun was derived from the word Zeytun, olive, and the name Ulnia Zeytun inherited from the Byzantine settlement located on a site of the same name. There are four educational churches in Zeytun, Catholic and Protestant Armenians had over church and a gymnasium. There were also two monasteries, four colleges, a girls' school and a press school. Archaeologist Barujan German wrote on his Telegram channel, The Azerbaijan and Turkey will not face anything, nothing but power. These countries will not tolerate an independent Armenian state on this territory. There is no peaceful agent and there will not be any of the part of the enemy. This is not a deviation from the agenda, but their agenda. In order to have peace, you need to fight and conquer it by force. After Artsakh, everything will be completed, exactly the tactics that are being used today, and at this moment to expel Armenians from Artsakh will also be applied to Sunik and Gerard Kuning. There is only a form of reversal of the situation to remove the pro-Turkish authorities and by consolidating national sources proceed to a counter-attack. In Akhal Kalak, a strong wind destroyed the roofs of many buildings and structures for several hours in a row. A special commission has been set up in Akhal Kalak City Hall, which assessed the amount of damage in order to further provide compensation. Today, the commission has received more than 60 applications. According to Deputy Mayor, statements are received every day. According to today's data, we have received statements from 20 villages. There is a village where eight buildings were damaged. There is a village where one structure is damaged and so on. Commission members conduct on-site inspections. The special commission will start providing compensation immediately after the completion of the evaluation work. The 13th Festival of Armenian Composer Art started with premiere on March 23. This was reported on the State Symphony Orchestra of Armenia. This is a significant event on the cultural life of Armenia and since 2010 has been steadily following this mission of preserving and recognizing the Armenian classical and modern school of composition and tradition. 
The Festival of Armenian Compositional Art was organized by the State Symphony Orchestra of Armenia with the assistance of the Ministry of Education and Science of the Republic of Armenia and in cooperation with the Union of Composers of Armenia. The message reads. Now the musical part, Armenian Folk Song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.